or we're going into no man's land, touching the bounds of space. There's no air. If something happens, how long can you hold your breath? Hi, my name's Andy Stumpf. I'm a skydiver, base jumper, wingsuit flyer, uh, military freefall instructor, former Navy SEAL, and husband and father to three amazing children. The record itself that I'm attempting to break, the furthest absolute distance traveled on a wingsuit, which means that after you open your parachute, they add the distance that you flew under canopy. And the reason for it is so I can fundraise and raise a million dollars for the Navy SEAL Foundation. You know, Andy's doing this for all of his boys. The Navy SEAL Foundation, the elite of our troops that take care of us. He's trying to take care of them. I'm hyper aware of the risk that is involved. It really takes one error and you're done. So you have to make a choice every time you step up to the ledge. You don't see people lining up to do this because it's dangerous. There's so many factors that are going on. Every foot you get higher, things just start kind of collapsing in on you. To go up that high in altitude, you're going into a place where people don't survive. If your oxygen failed at that altitude, you could black out. You could die just from spinning in that suit. no man's land, touching the bounds of space. There's no air. If something happens, how long can you hold your breath? I believe you have two choices in life. You have discipline and you have regret. Those are the two choices you can have. You can want to do all these really cool things and not work hard, and you can regret the fact that you never got there, or you can see what you want to do, have the discipline to do what you need to, and get where you want to go. At some point in time in everybody's life, you need to find something that you're willing to fight for. And if you're willing to fight for it, that probably means you're willing to die. And that doesn't end when you get out of the military. I still have the same moral callings and desire to do something, and this jump is just an extension of that because I can't go overseas anymore and do it myself, but that doesn't mean other people aren't. I'll risk my life to support those guys because it's the absolute least that I can do.